What? Holy that hurt my ears. Welcome back to the YouTube channel! Jonathan Snares here! We finna go get some brats, some deer brats, maybe! You gotta listen to my bass, boy, if you can hear me! Look at my mirror shake! I'm shooting the muzzle loader today! I'm gonna get a deer for you, Jeff! And me! Wish I had my sunglasses with how bright it is, but fellas, today I'm going to get my deer. I had to call the DNR this morning, so this is a day after muzzleloader opener. I'm gonna go and try to get a... Any deer matters. I don't care if it's a fawn. We're coming at you, Bambi. Second day of muzzleloader opener, the first day I couldn't get my license. Contacted the DNR this morning. I had three accounts in my name because it's spelt wrong and they merged them all together. Well, they said there was only two. Holiday gas station said three. But we're gonna find out if I can get my muzzleloader license and hopefully Jerry lets me hunt there. Later. Jonathan Snares YouTube channel where today we are going to be using the 50 caliper wolf black powder rifle as you can see right here real beauty this has a lot of kick it's a beautiful rifle I'm gonna show you exactly how to fire it exactly how to you know load it up the first thing you want to do right here will be the brake you're gonna want everything to be 50 caliber for this specific rifle. I'm gonna put two black powders down the barrel. When you break it, you put the primer right here after you load up the two black powders. This is quick and simple, easy way to load this rifle. First, you're gonna wanna have, from what I remember, you know, if I botched this one, Jimmy, I'm gonna be a crying boy. I'm only using two. Save some, you know. It's cheaper that way. Otherwise, you use three for further distance. So, put your black powder in. Now, you wanna load the bullet up. This setup is beautiful thanks to Dennis for letting me use it for this hunt. Now, what you're gonna do is you open this up, ammunition right here. I'm gonna wanna take one of these extremely huge bullet, is what it is. I don't know the names to stuff, but I know how to do it. I fired it two times, I'm absolute professional. What? That's, that's directed to you, Mr. Jeff. What? You said don't act like a professional. This is a professional. It was love at first sight. Just kidding, no beef. Now you want the ramrod right here. This is where this comes in clutch. You're gonna put the bullet in its little case like it shows it on the picture. Beautiful, okay? So now we put the bullet in. I think I did this all right. If I didn't, I'm gonna have this thing blow up in my face and I owe Dennis money. And I need to go to the hospital. But before you load your rifle, check down, break it, and check down there. Make sure you can see through that little hole. If you can't, clean it. I recommend cleaning this after every three shots. I've been doing it for 40 years, to be precise. I'm a pro, you know. I'm certified by the foreign government agencies, because I'm a real beauty, or at least that's what Bubba told me. Real beauties only. Now, I was recommended not to put the primer in it yet, but I'm not gonna cock this thing back. Now, we put the primer in it, and she should be ready to go and shoot some deer. Boy, this is all it takes 
for black powder with this beautiful wolf rifle. Such a beauty. Put that in there. Beauty. She's locked and loaded, now we're gonna go into the tree stand. When you put this in your little kangaroo pouch, you already know you're gonna look at this. This beautiful pouch, I meant this pouch. Sick bad You're gonna put it right here. Put the primers in the middle of it. That's what Jeff told me to do. Oof, duh, I don't wanna wreck my sack. I'd like to thank my, uh, my beautiful friends for helping me make this video. The real beauties. Beautiful Jerry, beautiful Jeff, beautiful Dennis. You guys really made my day. That is if I get a deer, of course. Otherwise, you're not the beautifulest. But yeah, back at the farm over, well, I used to dairy farm back in the, back in the 40s. No, I actually did. You can check that out on previous videos in the channel. But yeah, I'm gonna let you beauties go and I'm gonna get up in the stand, wait for a, a big old buck, and tell him what the f That's where they come Oh my God, my ears are ringing. I don't know if I got them, <sighs> but they ran back there. My ears are ringing. Holy dick that hurt my ears. Holy dick that hurt my ears. Holy dick that hurt my ears. I'm not shooting another one. I believe I got him because he started squirming on the ground for a while. Bummer, it went right. I cannot hear out of my left ear at all. Brown is possibly down. I seen him and I'm like, holy dick. There, I, I, I kept looking in front of me for deer. There's nothing. So I looked behind me and out of the neighbor's yard came on our property, by the way, Jerry's property, uh, three big does. I couldn't get my eye on the third one because I had to sight him on because they, they all saw me. So I had to sight him in, okay? And oh, I gotta calm down. I can't hear out of my left ear at all. But I had to get him in the sights and the other two started walking away but this one was broadside all day long all day long he was just sit broadside big old doe i don't know if that third one was a buck i couldn't get my eyes on it but it looked like there were three does and let's see how this goes hell yeah on in minnesota baby what's up man well i think i did because he was squirming on the ground <laughs> I, I think I got one, dude. I'm a, I, I shot it on this property and it hit the ground and started squirming around and then it ran to the neighbor's property. So, yeah, it got back up and then ran away, but I think he fell down back there, I'm hoping. Oh, okay. 
But there's a blood light on there. Well, it will really, really help you if you're colorblind, you know. I don't know. It won't help, but I I think I, I've visually seen where he ran. I'm gonna give it like 10 minutes, and he should be. Uh, yeah. That was awesome. I was looking in front of me. I didn't see no deer all day, and I keep looking to the back of me. This time I looked to the back, and three big, big does come up on me from the back. Mm. They were big, dude. You should have seen them. I didn't get my eye on the third one because two of them started walking away, but this one was broadside looking at me. Where'd Yeah, that is for sure it has to be. After hours of searching, I'm unsuccessful to find my deer. I felt the shame rise in me, but this is part of nature. Mother nature, not my nature. With no other options, I go out to hunt quite a few more times. All I seen was Bambi. That was literally it. Unfortunately, I was not a man of my word. I did not shoot Bambi. But stay tuned for next year. It will be better. I promise.